So a quick one while waiting for my veggies in the background. You can probably hear that. I running around. You hear people saying things like, "I, we, I have already had um, vaccines uh, mandatory, and um, people should um, look at the science, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. And I've even heard uh, that. I believe it was. Uh, the health minister uh, has it in New South Wales saying something to the effect of that um, people should look at the medical journals, which I thought was a really interesting thing to say because, and if Brad didn't say that exactly, sorry for throwing him, him under the bus here, but it still has the point that we're not discussing the science wherever we go where just like we have the elusive health experts that we never actually hear from, uh, this also applies with the narrative of the the science. Uh, look, I appreciate that people want to uh, feel safe, um, and that's probably why we're not actually seeing the science being discussed. But if we really want to use phrases like uh, from health ministers to suggest that people should look at the science, um, okay, well, can we get the, uh, the people from Pfizer uh, to jump up and discuss um, their studies? Rather than hearing a particular uh, narrative that is divisionary, that literally is as simple as uh, media interviews people who say that health experts say and the science says but we're not actually presented with any of that now if you did want to go and read the studies they are actually available i mean i don't think people actually even really want to look at the science i don't think that's even a question i think it's more of, like i said before people want to feel safe i think this is more of an existential crisis for people that they feel vulnerable and they're looking for something to uh, pin their hopes or blame for this. But outside of that, if we want to go back to the science, um, look, I mean, just jump online, have a look at PubMed, pull up the research, look at the Pfizer stuff, even... Uh, well, AstraZeneca has been the one that's been demonised. I uh, have a look at the the Pfizer. Um, like I said before, let's listen to the characters from Pfizer if they're the ones that are doing it, putting the studies together, because it's never a hundred percent one way or the other. And I mean, like I said, uh, if we want to look at the research, let's get the researchers up there and have a discussion on that. But let's not say that. Um, people who uh, said somebody said that this is the research. Like, all of us here watching this, in this country, can jump online, look at PubMed, look at these same journals that Pfizer, for example, like I, PubMed ID 33301246. If you look at that, you go to the... Uh, the summary, uh, you'll see in there in the method that it was Pfizer who conducted it. You'll see in the opening paragraph in the PDF summary that there says clinical problems. We've got this, the summary of which is we've got COVID. It's a problem. We need vaccines urgently. The problem is that the vaccines that we need for these viruses don't exist and that mRNA vaccines have not been widely tested. Now, if we want to just say that there's one direction, that this, there's one narrative and that everybody else is either vaccinated versus unvaccinated, why can't we hear from the people that I put the study together that other producers as to discuss what they noted as the clinical problem amongst this.
and why is that a problem? So it doesn't, again, matter whether somebody's for or against it. But we can't use the argument that somebody said that somebody said that science says, when literally we can all go and pull it up and read the science that's produced by the manufacturer. Like, we don't even have to sit there and go, um, you know, uh, manufacturers are evil. You know, you can go and read the papers that they produce if you want to. But, like I said before, I don't think it's even about that. I think it's more the fact that people want to pin their hopes on something. They want a saviour. And my fundamental concern of all of this is that you do get a nutcase come out at the opportune moment and we do have someone who is the apparent saviour. And that never looks pretty historically. But the point of this is, if you want to have a look at the science, go and have a look at it. I, the media aren't scientists. The people presenting it to you aren't the people that manufactured it, aren't the people that are doing uh, uh, the trial studies. If we want to actually look at that data, we can and maybe we should hear from them too, rather than constantly hearing what somebody else said, somebody else said that science says. That's kind of getting pretty boring. But if it is a case of we just go, oh, I just want to feel safe and having the vaccine makes me feel safe or I don't feel safe and I don't want to get the vaccine, again, I don't think it matters what the science says. People are going to do what they want to do. And I think if we don't respect that, that's where we end up having problems. Food for thought.